Welcome to the channel guys. Today I want to discuss uh, a common question that a lot of people have and is should I be running 93 in my ATV, UTV or side by side? Now I made a separate video tailored to small engines and snow blowers, you know, lawn mowers and tractors uh, relating to carbureted engines. Now this one here is going to be, you know, both. It's going to be carbureted and relating to fuel injected engines because a lot of ATVs UTVs and side-by-sides now have fuel injectors. So another thing that is a new thing is that machines are getting turbos and superchargers. So there's some bikes out there, motorcycles that have superchargers now and ATVs and, and side-by-sides that have, you know, turbochargers as well. So when you get into force induction, you're going to need that higher octane. Uh, that's the important factor is depending on what your compression ratio is on your engine. Um, it could vary. So 7 to 1, 8 to 1, 9 to 1, 11 to 1, 12 to 1. The higher that goes on that spectrum, and if your machine is turbocharged or supercharged or just naturally aspirated, you know, that depends and dictates what octane you need. Very important. That all is in your owner's manual. If you don't know, take a look in there and every machine might be slightly different. One ATV might be fine with 87. I know my Polaris Sportsman XP1000 is fine with 87. That's what it says right in the manual, the minimum octane rating. Some machines that have turbos might need 93 or 91 octane. So very important thing to do is take a look at your owner's manual. That's where you can have that piece of information that tells you what octane you need. So octane is needed to provide knock resistance in your engine. And now to make that simple for you guys is basically an engine knock is when the combustion happens before top dead center, where it needs to be optimal at top dead center. So if it happens before that point, it's not good for most engines. Now there's some engines out there that can advance timing, but you have to run very high octane for that. And that's not something I want to talk about in this video. Your normal engines want to combust at top dead center and get that optimal combustion happening at that point, the zero point there. Now, if you run a low quality fuel and say a turbocharged engine, it would actually combust before that because this fuel is very unstable. Higher octane is more stable. So that's the reason why it's used in higher compression engines. Uh, nine, nine to one, 10 to one, 11 to one, 12 to one, you know, at, and depending on the setup, uh, it could be crucial and it could be detrimental to your actual engine if you don't use the same uh, or proper fuel, I should say. Um, but one thing I want to discuss is why I use 93 octane in all my equipment. And that's basically because of convenience. I have one fuel for everything and I don't have to worry about which one is which and what's what. I can put it in my Corvette, I can put it in my ETV, I can put it in my lawnmower. I can put it in my truck, it doesn't matter. Um, I have one fuel and it's ready to go no matter what the situation is, uh, no matter what the engine is. I also usually have uh, boostane available when I will have to up the octane, say with my Corvette because it's a, a supercharged engine and it's pushing north of 900 wheel horsepower. So another thing that 93 octane or the higher octanes offer versus 87 is that, um, they're more consistent and they have better additives, detergents and things like that uh, to make the engine and the fuel injectors, most importantly, operate better. So in fuel injected machines, it's very important to have detergents, um, especially when you have a port injected uh, fuel system. So that means it sprays fuel on the backside of the valve. That actually cleans the backside of the valve and keeps that from depositing carbon and oil buildup and stuff like that on the backside of the valve and coking up and things like that. If you have port injected, it's very good for your valves altogether. It's gonna stay very clean, um, it's, and it's very important to have a high octane, high quality fuel that has good detergents such as Shell V-Power Nitro Gas. That's a very consistent fuel that has a lot of technology built in and that's what I tend to use myself, um, especially in fuel injected vehicles or, or machines. All right, guys. So I hope this all answers your questions that you've had. Um, 
when it comes to octane of fuel and how it pertains to your ATV or UTV or side-by-side. -side. Uh, like I said, I like to run that 93 because it's just convenient. Um, let me know what you guys think, uh, your opinions and your kind of logic on what octane you guys run and what kind of equipment you have. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.